In this video, I'll show you how to use conditional orders to scale out of a position. So how to set multiple take profit levels for your position. I'll show you how to do that whether you're going long or you're going short. If you appreciate this content, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I do have plenty more Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel, including a Bybit step-by-step -step beginners tutorial. For anybody that might be interested in that video, I'll leave a link for it in the description down below. Let's get into the video. First, I'll show you how to set multiple take profits if you're going long, and then I'll show you how to do it if you're going short. So first things first, I'll get myself into position here. I'll just do a small position for this demonstration, and I'm going to go long, confirm, in position. Now let's take a look at this daily chart and set some targets. We can see that for the last several weeks that Bitcoin's been playing out this range, and currently it looks like price action's moving towards the top of the range. Perhaps we want to take some profit at the top of the range and then leave some of our position open in case price action gets up above and moves to higher price levels. So let's set up our first target. We can see the top of that range marked by this horizontal, and if we look at the y-axis of the chart, that has a price point coming in at 23465 so let's head over here to the order panel, make sure we're set to conditional, and then we're going to move from open to close. Now we need to move from market to limit, and in order price, we're going to type that price point in, so 23,465. Next, we need to type in the quantity of the position we wish to sell if that target gets hit. We can find our quantity down here on the positions tab, and right here where it says quantity, is where you're going to find the size of your position. So let's go ahead and sell just over half of the position if price is to reach our first target. So we'll come back over here to quantity and I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in. That's just over half. Next, we're going to hit close long, confirm the details, click confirm. Now we've set our first take profit to get rid of just over half of our position if price action is to move to the top side of the range and hit our first target. Now let's set a couple more targets in the event price action gets through there and keeps going to the upside. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit with the wheel of my mouse. Let's just grab a horizontal and let's just imagine that we wanna target maybe the bottom side of this wick right here. We can see a bit of a breakdown happening in that area as well. So let's go ahead and just mark that with the horizontal. We'll go something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see the price point that correlates to that horizontal coming in at 26,594. So let's go ahead and put that in to order price. 26,594. Next, we'll choose the quantity that we wish to sell if price action reaches our second target. So let's do just over half of the remainder of our position. So we'll do something like this. We'll go. And then we'll click on close long. Confirm the details. Now we've set our second take profit. If price action gets through and moves to the second take profit, we'll be selling just over half of what remains. And just for fun, let's set a third take profit. So I'll zoom out a little bit again, grab a horizontal, and let's just go ahead and stick a horizontal, maybe somewhere around here. Good enough for this demonstration. You can see lots of support coming in right here, and then it breaks down below and then we get that waterfall to the downside. So why don't we make that the third target where we release the rest of our position if price action is to reach up to that level. Once again, we see the price point of that with that horizontal coming in at 28,532. So let's go ahead and put that into order price. 28,532. And we'll go ahead and get rid of the remainder of our position. Click on close long, confirm, now we've set our third take profit. And you can actually see these take profits on the chart itself. I'll just go ahead and get rid of some of these horizontals here. Go like that. And now you can see our take profits on the chart itself. You can easily amend any of these take profits by just simply coming over to the box on the chart, grab onto it, and then you can drag it wherever you want it. So if we wanna amend this one up just a little bit, maybe to those wicks like so, we can drag it up there. And as you can see, I've amended the first take profit, 23,829. And if for any reason you want to cancel any of these take profits, it's as easy as coming over to these little boxes. You'll see a little X and just click on it. Confirm. First take profit is removed. And then we can get rid of the second one. Third one. Now we've removed every take profit. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close this position, and then I'll show you how to do this from the short side. All right, I shall quickly open myself a little short position here. We'll do the same as last time. Open short, confirm, in position. Let's go ahead and set our first take profit at the bottom side of this range, marked out by this horizontal right here. Of course, we can see the price point of that horizontal on the y-axis of the chart coming in at 19,202. So we'll come back over here to the order panel. We'll switch back to conditional, switch to close, and let's put that price point in the order price, 19,000. Then let's go ahead and get rid of just over half the position if price is to reach our first target. And now we'll click on close short. Confirm. And now we've added our first take profit to the downside. Now let's set our second target. Let's imagine that if price gets down and breaks through our first target, that perhaps we want to target the bottom of this wick right here. So I'll go ahead and just mark that with a horizontal like so. Now we can see the price point there. We'll come over to the order price, and I'll type that in, 17,653. And of course, we'll put in our quantity. Let's get rid of just over half of what remains from our position if that first target gets hit. Then we'll click on close short, confirm, second target set. Now let's set our third take profit. For this one, I'll have to zoom out quite a bit here. Let's look left. And we can see over here that there's a little bit of price action coming in at this level right here. So let's go ahead and just mark that out with the horizontal just for fun. We'll do something like this. This is where these horizontals come in handy because you can still see the price point of your desired target on the y-axis of the chart. In this case here, it's 15,986. So let's type that into order price. 15,986. And we'll get rid of the remainder of our position if price is to reach all the way down there. Click on close short. Confirm. And now we've set our third take profit. Of course, we can see those on the chart. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of these horizontals here so we can see them a little better. They're over here in these little green boxes. We can amend them by grabbing onto them and moving them around. And of course, we can go ahead and cancel them by just clicking these little X's right here. And we've removed every take profit. I'm going to go ahead and close this position. And that's how you get this done. Of course, you want to use your own level of creativity. Do your own technical analysis. You certainly want to be setting targets that make the most sense for you. But aside from that, that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set up multiple take profits by using a conditional order. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks for popping by to check out this video. Looking forward to seeing the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.